What's up guys, Gary7 here and welcome to episode 4 of my City Skylines Let's Play Series 2 here on my new city of CT. So, we continued on in the last episode and did some work with our little farming we've got in here which is actually doing really really well. Um, you know, our industrial zone is building up okay, it's not what I really want with industry but you know, it's doing what we need. We've got a demand for housing and shops. I put in a few shops here which is a good way as well of connecting up the power across to this district so everyone now shares that. What we want to do now, so I was thinking, we, I kind of want to get some industry here. So if we actually have a look at our info view, we'll have a look right down here at our resources. This is forestry. So, you know, we've got a nice high bit of forestry there, you know, not too bad around everywhere else. And farming is all around this area, but we've put a little bit of farming there, which I think is absolutely fine. Um, this map's got quite a lot, to be honest, of resources around. You can see we've got oil and everything over that side. Ore and that here as well. So, you know, we could do a big ore industry here at some point. I did want to do that, but it's connecting these two together. And for that, I want to get a highway that runs basically from this highway down. I'm going to let me get up a road so I can draw it straight, basically. So we'll get this highway connected up, and we'll probably get rid of these two shops. And then the roundabout would be raised above it, so the highway would go underneath, and then we'd have a connection up and down and everything. Come up to here, curve it around, and then curve it in to here. So we'd have a connection there, and this highways would be connected together with, you know, with that. But I don't think I have enough money for that right now. So what we need to do is continue on zoning. I want to do a new residential area. I don't want to have all our residents right together. You know, we're getting them all around the lake, which is nice. But maybe we could add some high density somewhere. Um, again, over here we've got a bit where we could add some stuff. We could even make this a two-way road so they can go back and forth between there, and add something down here, housing-wise. Um, let's actually have a look at doing that a second. So this is going to be our new little zoning here. I'm not going to do high density here. I don't think it would look right. I think high density. I'm going to do that nearer the coast. So we're going to do that in these two squares. Um, I haven't even unlocked these yet, apparently. So I need 7,000. So we're not quite there yet. So I'm going to get our large field brush. Fill up all of this. We're going to need to get some shops and not shops. Sorry, we're going to need to get some housing. Well, we're going to need to get some schooling in. Let's actually get the small tool so that I can go, nope, like that. Get some shops just along this bit here. Again, I don't like filling up to the edge because that's when we're going to get you know, the issues of traffic and things. But now we need to get education and everything like that in, so let's check the school. We've got a decent coverage, but again, definitely having one over here will help. Um, we need to do water as well, but I think let's first of all get the school in, or the schools in. High school and elementary, we'll put them close by. We'll get water and power, so let's pause while we do the water, make sure we actually get this in properly. So again, we'll run that one all the way across. I'm going to go right to the edge of the world like that. And then we can go from there up to 560. It's a bit much, but I can't remember exactly what it was. Yeah, let's then zoom out to there continues zoning up, we'll go right to the end and about there will be good again Boom. that is going to give us the water and then power over here we'll need to use either a connection across the highway or one from the industry, I think we can get away with just doing an industry one like so, just for now they're complaining not enough workers but okay, again once we get everybody in that should be good Fire service wise, you know, we've got the fire services here, so those three should be enough for now. Um, we haven't unlocked the watchtowers yet, we get them at 7,000 as well, so that'll be good. Police station wise, we've got two, um, a third one we could definitely do with at some point, but for now, I think we'll be okay. So these are building in. I haven't put any specialization on these, so why don't we actually pause the game a second, get a district put in here, and we'll do like a European zone here. We've not got one of them yet. It's nice to add different zoning in for the school, you know, not the school, sorry, the housing and everything like that. Let's go right to the edge. Make sure we cover all of it. And delete this bit here. And actually make it straight like we needed to. Barlow Park. Eh, not a great name, but again, I'm not too worried about changing the name. I'm going to go a European style. We're going to also check on the policies. Smoke detector, definitely. Recycling as always. Parks and recreation, we could do with that. Recreational use. 
I won't do free public transport here because I want people to start paying for that. Recycle plastics is on, so that's fantastic. We can do encourage biking. Um, old town policies, only residents and businesses can use areas for motor vehicles. I like to use that, it kind of stops traffic going around it when it's not needed. We also now need to get in a few parks. I know we wanted to get in the university and I'm spending all the money on everything else, but you know that is fine for now. We need to encourage people to get in here, so let's get one park there. And possibly a small park at the end here. It gives us a pretty good coverage. In fact, if we put it up here, we'd even possibly get a little tiny bit of the industry in. Um, and I'm trying to think that covers the whole area, so that actually works pretty good there. So we'll leave that there to expand. Um, we've got again more shopping demand than anything. Shopping can go here. We've got a nice big road for that. Um, I don't want to do too much shopping though. Like in zones, like we've got like a shopping, shopping. I like having them added in different places so that people have got access to the shops. You know what I mean? We could do a shop there. That won't be too bad. Maybe a shop on those ones, just like that. You know, give them a bit of shopping around the areas. But these are building in nicely. Let's see when they come up here. Are they? Is it making the traffic too high? So we'll check the traffic situation. We're at 92% traffic flow. It's not too bad at all. Our only issue is this roundabout, but that's because this is the only connection from the highway so far. So yeah, that's you know it's flowing nicely. We're not having too much major issues there, so we can keep that for now. And what I want to add is a footpath. So we're doing this a lot at the moment, footpaths, but they are really really good so if we actually come up here I might be able to I need to come back just a little bit there I want to do a footpath across like so and then from there we'll go down to a nice curve not a curve nice slope down like so so that connects in to those housing then we'll connect up onto this one and we'll go down again boom this is just going to enable people to get across without having to uh, drive, you know, might stop some of the traffic there. I'm not sure if anybody's going to use it yet, but it's there ready for when they need it. We could then maybe do a footpath that goes from this crossing straight across to that one. Again, just a little bit of a shortcut. We've got our farming paths, which people are using a lot, so that's actually going really well. We could build a bridge across. We've got one over that side, but if we did one maybe here. Um, it's going to be more of a step, um, but that, you know, that's fine. Gives people the option then to hopefully use this footpath. I presume they're connected, but it doesn't show it is, so I'm actually going to pause it for a second. Delete that. Come on, let me connect it up, like so. Yeah, that's the best we're going to do. There you go. So now they've got ways of getting across to the farming and the industry zones and obviously all the shops. We're using the paths a lot so that's good. All these houses are built back in now which is nice and I do like this style around here. I think that really does suit the area, you know, having quite low houses. Industry wise, like I said, we could build the forestry up here. To do that I'm going to need to connect up this road. Again, so I do like keeping the industry a bit separated. And they've got a six lane road here. Um, and then we think, let's just double check again the info view and check our resources. So that's the main farm, uh, the main farm, that's the main bit for forestry at the moment. We could put in a forestry here so we can keep it quite close together. And now to do that, if you don't know, you choose trees, you just choose any of the trees. I'm going to choose these ones, choose the size, choose the strength, increase it, and then literally just hold it down. So that now will be one forestry section. We can make it a little bit larger by doing you know, more trees here and more trees here. So basically you place trees down where you want your forestry to be. I'm going to do that and it will make this a nice forestry area. It will get us you know, quite a big area for forestry so that would be perfect. And it will save us you know, going all the way up to there. We can keep the forestry quite close then if we have a look at our info view. You can now see that this is a dark green, so that's perfect. The land isn't as dark yet, but give it time and that will come in. So let's get our six lane road straight, and we want to go to the end of it, like there. We want to get our 
zoning tool, our district tool, and then we want to paint up to the wind turbines. That way we know where we're going. Just give that district like that. I'm going to go up a little bit higher. Like so. Walnut Heights isn't the perfect name, but it'll be fine. We'll get the forestry specialization. I don't need to worry about anything other than that. Um, I will quickly add a few different trees just around the outside just to try and get you know, a bit more stuff in here. Like so, again, I've got my strength up to max. And we're just adding these, trying to get more forestry. Uh, if we drop it down again, we can literally go in and add these in like so. It's expensive to do it like this, you know, to add the trees and stuff, but it makes it really good for making your industries and that where you want them to be. This should technically, if we have a look in a minute, make this really green, which is exactly what we were after. Right, let's zoom out again. Info view, yeah, you can see that's a lot darker green now than it was before. So we'll use this, and we've got our road. Again, six lanes there. I don't think we need a six. We could probably just get away with doing a four lane. But I want a one way, so don't have four way one way. So we'll have to use a six lane one way. Junction's quite close, but I think we'll be able to get away with that. Keep an eye on the angle. 90, we're going to go up. So we can actually have a curve on this one. And then again here, we're going to come down to the end. Like so. And then we're going to get a curve. Going to build up to about here, and then we'll curve it in like so. I do need to be mindful of the fact we've got the wind turbines, and then we can curve it in like that. And then we'll have to move this turbine with the move tool. And we can probably just there's not even getting much power there. Four, and where do we get more? Obviously, over here, but I don't want to put it there. Maybe we can put it, just for now, there. I'm going to move all of these, just because you actually get a lot more power here. And we'll move this one. I will keep that one actually right on the edge here. You get, five, you get six there, so that's not too bad. And then that one, we can move this one to this place again just for now, again they'll probably end up being moved completely at some point but for now that is working perfectly we'll go for a straight road connecting these two together we'll use the change of direction tool and change these to the correct way so now we've got a bit of a loop, we can even add a road, a two way road coming off of the centre here just going into here like so and then you know they can get up and down there which is perfect and we can now add our industry so let's get that in place again I want all of it to be at the back really off of the main highway and this will all be specialised into forestry stuff could probably keep it all in the inside rather than doing the outside as well would probably make more sense but you know should hopefully be okay this will mean we don't have to import so many products um, so that's also great there we go like so, something like that and then when this builds in, when we do have the demand that will be really good let's check the cable is not needed there anymore always worth getting rid of them when you can and this is needed here just for connection across um, but yeah that's building in really nicely, let's wait and see if this forestry builds in okay so we're back now and we've got enough money for the university um, I'm trying to find place to put it, I kind of want it here, right on the this part here, we'd have to delete a few houses, if we got it in the centre of the road, you know, that is where I want it, so we're going to have to flatten this land here a bit I think, so let's get our terraforming tool, click on the land, I want it to be that, what am I doing, this one, square to get it to there, and I'm going to do that, I actually don't need it quite as big for now, we're going to bring this out flat, not overly flat, but again, just enough to get in what we need. Then, if we choose the university, we should be able to put it there. Stope, stope is too steep. Steep. 
slope is too steep so let's again terraform out to about here get it back a bit more it's costing us thousands each time we do this but it's worth it to get it in by the lake I think uh, we can even get rid of that bit there because it just didn't look right again and in time we'll proper terraform this and make it look even better uh, then let's choose our school or our university and let's place it right there boom so I think that looks quite nice right up on the hill like that We've got a nice path that goes around it not too steep we definitely need to add some sort of uh, things here so let's gently change this land up a bit it was just way not enough money wow so that costs loads so we'll leave that I think that looks okay you know the car park might be a little bit high if we could I would lower it but we don't have the option on the PlayStation to do that so that will be okay we'll be able to hide that we've got good access here as well maybe we actually look at upgrading tram lines down to this part so the tram lines we've got go to here so far we could then add tram lines that go around to the university loop around this district so let's get our trams let's then connect up these rows into tram lines it's not ideal because I do prefer the ones with the trees but I think having a loop right to the university is the best option um, we can then go all the way along the back here to the shops which should be tram roads anyway and I haven't done them so we can just quickly add them in like so um, and then we should be able to get a stop right there maybe as well we upgrade all of this to trams just to give them the loop around and we'll have you know people access give people access into shops and everything we'll leave the down the roads that go down a little bit um, so the the ones in between you know like that one I'm coming up to now we'll leave this one here as that with trees we don't need trams to be able to go up and down there because they can walk to these stops this side is where we need to go first one two three four five six seven I kind of want to go all the way up to the shops I'm going to do more of an outer loop so again these people have access to it oh auto save going on um, and then we'll do one here I think this will be a good stop to have people stop at as well one there and then we'll continue on down come on let's get it in the right place there we go stop there we can stop here and then we'll stop back at the university so that'll be university loop one and then we'll do a loop two where we're going to go in the opposite direction and that is important for getting people you know, back up the stops if they don't need to go in a certain area um, we just need to make sure we get it stopping in the right places again I think we're going to leave a gap there have one at the end we could do a stop again there there so again, we don't need too many stops we need enough that people are going to be able to access it and have a good amount of access we've got loads of people look at that already they've just been added and the tram line is already got people waiting a lot of people waiting as well we've got an issue now with garbage so let's pause before we have too many issues let's empty that we could get um actually i'm pretty sure we unlocked no, we haven't unlocked the incinerating plant yet but we'll get that soon we've already got a recycling center we could add a second one you know, right beside this one um or we could add one up over here I don't really want too many of them around but I think having a second one might be worth it now we've got a large number of citizens death care wise we should have a look at putting a cemetery over in this district we've literally got one cemetery for the whole town so let's put that there that's going to definitely add you know it makes them happier so that's cool we should add one over here as well um, price wise I don't know if we've got enough eight grand we have but we need to make some more roads coming off here for that really so I think for now we'll leave that because we'll make some more roads at some point but, you know it's not too far from that once we unlock this crematorium which is at 16,000 we can add a crematorium down here easier we still don't have any buildings yet for our 
industry down there but you know we'll let that be we definitely have a massive amount of people though that are needing housing so let's upgrade that one which is a straight road I think we'll come down to about there I'm not going to do any more for now with regards to tram lines I think we'll keep it as what we've got for now and then we can actually have there's a junction there we need to go through that unfortunately like that gives us another, another little area for, for that and then we'll get a freeform tool again and we'll call it of this one that does not work Let's think we need it at a decent ish angle but not too big. That looks like it's gonna work pretty good. And then we can connect that. Again we've got a tram on there, we don't need another one. Let's get a freeform tool again. We'll curve that to here. I want these to meet at a point actually, these two roads. So we could even possibly you know, get something like that. Cool. So then it's just connecting up this road here. Let's have a look at the second at our district. See how far up. We've gone right the way up, but, but I don't know if we need to go much further. It's going to be a weird looking district, but it's going to work really well. I like the fact it's going to literally loop around the entire entirety of the lake. Um, I like the curves as well instead of having straight roads. So we can then not enough money. Got to wait for some more money to build in. To build in to come in. And then we can connect that up to there like so. Literally we're nearly there. And once we've got that, that'll be this area finished off um residence wise. I need to definitely look at getting some sort of connection across and more garbage because we don't have a great deal of garbage collection but I think what we'll do for now is we'll zone this in with a nice big block get the residents in to here and garbage is a major issue so if we actually got a four lane road coming off of one of these bits just down here a bit further apologies again if you can hear my kids shouting He's playing his games with his friends, so he's extremely excited. Um, four grand, and we'll be able to put one just down here. This will just give them access then to that. It's not the perfect place for it, but I think for now it would actually work out perfectly. Um, Water-wise, we're up to there. We just need to go all the way up to the end as well. So I'll actually do the water before I do the garbage. We need that cover in there, and then we can have that covering there. Oh, we just unlocked a milestone. I'll have a look at that in a second. Let me just get these pipes in. What am I doing? Come on. It really annoys me when they're like, this is it's obstructed. It's like, well, I'm trying to get it into there. That's kind of the point of this. And then we need to do that little bit there just to cover that and then probably right to the very end just in, for when we get our plant so we just got 45 grand because of hitting the milestone so 7,000 residents big town amazing we've unlocked blimps and metro this time and the IT cluster now we've got the high density stuff and a few more stuff blimp pathways incineration plant university which we I'm pretty sure we already had a university so this must be a different looking one um, so yeah that was that's awesome guys happy to have that 7,000 residents now so now we have the incinerating plant we might be able to get away with putting one just over here for the waste they have a high noise but not too bad pollution wise so let's stick one there and hope they will be okay with that it also generates a little bit of power so that's another little bonus I suppose um, have we got people coming out already yep straight away let's check the intersections we don't need traffic lights here they can literally just stop on these two but boom they're going to go collect the waste straight away from these people I think they literally just drive by and it does it they don't even have to stop I oh, know they are stopping a little bit that's perfect so I guess these people covered um, over here we've got no workers but again give that time and we will we need to add a footpath I think across from our districts let's try that let's think 
we're going to want to go across with a, a bridge if I can get that to there please thank you and then we need to come down for a footpath right into that house so we're going to have to delete one of the original houses and then again here we're going to want to come down for a path like so and that works quite nicely gives people access across I'm not sure if they're going to use it too much at the beginning but it's there for when they want to um, shopping wise we could add I'm not going to do high density shopping for now I think maybe on this tip if we got our small brush we can get rid of that one and that one we're going to add a couple shops down here I think we could do three maybe one this side as well just to give them some shops right away here otherwise I could go all the way up here it's nice in my opinion to add a few little shops every now and then anyway so again we can add some shops there get rid of that one so they're like little corner shops and things like that for people connect it up with pipes to about there and then we can run that one straight along like so it just gives us then a complete connection there we go that's him all sorted so let's check as well how well the university is doing now we've added that we've already got 230 239 nearly 240 over 240 people using that so that is really good um, school wise we've still got good coverage I do want another school over here okay I'm gonna make sure we stick with adding lots of plenty of schools not lots but you know a decent amount we're gonna not put that one too close to the water put that one there and then high school wise you know we've got three we've got a decent amount of coverage so we, we shouldn't have to worry too much here for now um, if we do add, need to add one we can I will check a second on our info view so eligible 658 plenty of capacity loads of uneducated at the moment we still need to educate our citizens um, universities doing really well so let's maybe maybe add one down here just because there is it's not a need as such but there will be in time gives people the complete access makes people happier as well which is what we're really after um, fire service definitely need to get one down here now and we can do that off of this road you know so it's not too close to the people 12 12 6 6 I'm actually going to add a different one down here then because we've not got one of these and then police we don't have enough for that yet so this episode we've added the forestry industry ready quickly before I go off I've actually now I've got some buildings building in for the forestry which is amazing to see um, here they come in now and hopefully this area is going to build in really nicely it's not a massive amount so far if we actually have a look on our industry buildings you know, we've just got a few down the end here building in we do have an issue I suppose with the pollution so we might have to unzone these industry zone these buildings but I'm happy to do that just to get rid of those ones gives a bit more of a barrier hopefully that will tidy up um, and we could even then possibly add some shops I'm not too sure if they'd be happy with that so let's check power wise it's no longer got a connection but we can just do this just to give them the power for now We've had our new Barlow Park, which I actually like the look of that. I like the different angles. We've continued on with Hawthorne Hills, and we've added our new university and tram line here. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, hit that like button. If you are new, please do drop a sub and a follow. And I'll be back again tomorrow with the next episode of my City Skyline series here on our new city of CT. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you again soon. Bye bye.